As an IMPD officer remains in the hospital recovering after he was shot in the line of duty Sunday night, the man accused of shooting him here is still in the hospital but has not been arrested or charged in the case. Fox 59's Courtney Spinelli has been digging into his past and learned that he has a lengthy criminal history. It's a stark reminder of what is truly at risk. A first-year IMPD officer is still in the hospital after he was shot Sunday night while responding to a call in Fountain Square. Indianapolis FOP President Rick Snyder met with the officer and his family and says they're leaning on their faith to help get them through this time. The officer is um, still in the fight. And uh, as we discussed, he's standing his post. The man accused in the shooting now identified as 31-year-old Malik Hill. It appears uh, that this was a repeat violent offender. In fact, classified by law as a serious violent offender. Hill is charged with theft and resisting law enforcement in a case from late January, less than one month before the shooting. A probable cause affidavit says he was the getaway driver leading police on a high-speed chase after another man stole from Walmart. He was released on a $500 dollar cash bond. We're potentially identifying that regardless of had this crime occurred or not, they should not have been out. In 2012, Hill, already a convicted felon, was sentenced to 15 years in prison for an armed robbery in Marion County. He wrote to the court in 2018 requesting to be allowed into a work release program. Records show it was denied. In his letter, he said, quote, some mistakes I believe I will never make again, like jeopardizing my life and freedom. He also wrote, quote, I'm no longer involved in misconduct in any way, shape, form, or fashion. People who are victimized by repeat offenders deserved better by the system for the system to do their job so that they can be kept safe. Hill was released from Putnamville Correctional Facility in February of 2021 and assigned to the Indianapolis Parole District. He was marked delinquent in late January 2022, just days before the arrest following the incident at Walmart and weeks before the officer was shot. Reporting in Indianapolis, Courtney Spinelli, Fox 59 News. Courtney, thank you. The suspect also remains in the hospital where he's listed in serious condition tonight.